I keep hearing that ivermectin can treat cancer, but can it truly treat cancer? What is the evidence out there? Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist, and I took a deep dive into this topic. And you wanna keep watching because we're gonna talk about the truth on ivermectin. Does ivermectin have anti-cancer potential? Well, we know that ivermectin helps fight parasites. And through research, we have found that it's also antiviral. It has anti-inflammatory properties. And a lot of people in the world did use it to help fight COVID as well. And also in my last video, I talked about how ivermectin does have different mechanisms that make it a potential to help treat various autoimmune diseases as well. Currently, the treatment for different cancers is usually chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and other pharmaceutical medications. But ivermectin is not mentioned in the treatment plans for these different cancers. So is there any evidence that ivermectin can be used to treat cancer? So there was a study recently that I found that talked about how ivermectin has been found through different mechanisms to treat different cancers. However, I have to warn you that this was not done on any humans. This was done in the lab and on animal studies. This was a paper found in the Journal of Pharmacology and it talks about how it has shown potential in breast cancer, gastrointestinal cancers, brain cancers, blood cancers, urinary system cancer, and also reproductive system cancers as well. However, it did not mention any studies, like I said, in humans. So that's why you don't hear about it being used in the treatment plan by your oncologist or your cancer doctors, because there is no dosage or research that they have found to justify its use in the cancer treatments. However, what's promising about ivermectin is that it does show anti-cancer potential through the animal and lab studies. And also there is currently a human clinical study going on at the City of Hope, where they're combining ivermectin with an astral cancer drug to see if it, whether it helps with breast cancer. So I think it's promising that there is a human study going on. And if it's successful, that'd be great because ivermectin is not that expensive and it's worldwide, many different countries can prescribe ivermectin. And of course, we know that ivermectin was used during COVID-19 throughout the world. Are there any dosages that they talked about with ivermectin and cancer in these studies? Well, you can't really translate that to humans because the studies were on mice and in the lab. So you can't really translate the dosages of ivermectin for fighting cancer in humans. And some people, when they do take it, they take a ultra mega dose of ivermectin and we don't know how safe that is if you take it at such a high dose. So when they used it during COVID-19, a lot of people were using about 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. Some people were using around 12 milligrams to 15 milligrams per dose. How about fenbendazole? Fenbendazole is another anti-parasitic medication and fenbendazole has shown potential to fight cancer also. But fenbendazole is not a human drug. Fenbendazole is used in animals. And there are talks of fenbendazole on social media potentially fighting cancer as well. And there was a case report on fenbendazole fighting cancer in the anti-cancer research journal. And it was on a patient who was diagnosed with lung cancer. And this patient took fenbendazole at 222 milligrams. And he found out that after he took it, his cancer was resolved and this shocked a lot of people. And not only did this patient take fenbendazole, but he also took CBD, took turmeric and vitamin E as well. And he did this for three months. And to everyone's surprise, he was the only patient in this 1100 patient study to have resolved this cancer. This is really exciting because it shows the potential of this other medication, fenbendazole, even though it's a medication used for animals to potentially help patients in the future. It's pretty remarkable that this one patient actually resolved their cancer while using fenbendazole and other modalities at the same time, such as vitamin E, curcumin, and also CBD. So the reason why you're not gonna hear about fenbendazole or also ivermectin use for cancer next time you see your oncologist is because there's not enough research in humans, and that's the bottom line. And there's also not a lot of clinical trials 
on these medications either. So mechanistically, it has potential. And I hope that there are more research in the future on these drugs because they're not that expensive. And if it does work, it can change the game for cancer use. So I'm the type of doctor that likes to think outside the box. I have an integrative medicine and functional medicine background as well. So I like to look at these different medications and other alternative therapies to see whether there is any evidence behind it. Because if there's evidence behind it, then there is potential use for it, whether it's an animal study or better yet, a human study. So if you want to read some of these research studies that I have talked about in this video, I have linked them below in my description box. So go ahead and open the links to these research articles because they're open to the public. And I really appreciate you spending the time to watch this video. I know that we all have the potential to heal our bodies and to get better through many different ways, not only pharmaceutical medications, but also natural ways as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also comment below on what you think about this video. I'll see you guys next time.